So now we're in the back, which is the production facility. This was added on to the original building, 2015, 2016. Over here we have Kevin Ford, one of the distillers. And Kev's gonna walk us through a little bit about what the equipment here is. I know Big Tex, the mashing tank right here, came from Texas. So yep. Kev, why don't we, uh, by the way, good to see you. Good to see you mm -hmm. as well, Kev. So why don't we just like take a one, run through about what uh, what equipment is uh, back here in the in the production area. Cool. Uh, well, like you said, this is Big Tex, it's our mash ton. So every grain-based uh, product starts here. That's our whiskey, that's our bourbon, uh, vodka, uh, and our moonshine. So load that up, about a thousand pounds of local grain every time cook our mash, it's a lot like making beer, uh, pull the starch, convert it to sugar, mm -hmm. and then uh, we start our fermentation. This is our uh, big uh, 500 gallon hybrid reflux still. So this is, uh, all our mash hits this first. Uh, it's our first level of distillation. Um, our vodka is made 100% in here as well. Uh, so each one of these plates that you see uh, kind of looks like a clarinet. Uh, what that does is it kind of forces uh, a little heavier distillation. Uh, if this was running and you were to look in each one of those plates, you'd actually see a, an isolated um, situation of distillation every time. So there's about uh, eight different levels of distillation happening when we do that. And then back here in the back, this is our small finishing still. Uh, if you're familiar uh, with the uh, uh, old school classic still design or moon shining, uh, this is a lot more familiar. But it's the same process. So distillation is vaporization of alcohol. Um, so we, we place our alcohol into here. Uh, this is for bourbon and brandy. Uh, fire it up. Uh, boiling point of ethanol is lower than water. So that ethanol begins to vaporize. Then travels up into this dome. Cross this arm. And then this is our condenser. So when that hot alcohol vapor hits it, it recondenses into a liquid and comes dripping out here. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's actually running right now. What, um, can you just take us through real quick, um, like the tote here and how is, how is all this working and what's, what's coming out of here right now that you got that, that's uh, being right. fermented or brewed or I'm sorry, distilled? Oh. So typically uh, if we're not making anything that we need, if we're not running low on any products, we're making whiskey. Whiskey ages for a few years. Um, so we're trying to fill barrels as much as we can uh, to prepare. That starts with our mash ton, 1,000 pounds of local grain. It's cooked, um, all that starch is pulled into the water. It's a lot like making oatmeal. Yeah. Just thickens yeah. Up. Um, and then we add malted grains. Malted grains naturally uh, convert starches into sugars. Mm -hmm. uh, so in a, in a matter of a half an hour, this thick oatmeal thins out. And you taste it, there's a lot of sugar in there. Uh, so we take that sugar-rich solution, we add uh, yeast to it, and it ferments like a beer. We get up to about 12% alcohol in three days. So then we take it into Big Tex, uh, our big uh, stripping still, we call it. Mm -hmm. So the first distillation is a stripping distillation, uh, meaning that we're just trying to get as much alcohol out of that mash as possible. Uh, so we fire this thing up uh, hot and heavy as fast as we can, yep. um, and we run all that alcohol into one tote, uh, one big tote like this. From a 500 gallon mash, we usually get about 100 gallons of strip distillate, 100, mm -hmm. 125. We then take that strip distillate, we load it into our smaller still, and this is our finishing. So this is the this is where the cuts happen. Right. Uh, if you've ever heard of that, there's no technology as of right now to tell you what's good, what's bad. So that comes down to one person uh, standing right in Kevin's spot right now. Mm -hmm. So you stand here, and uh, if we had this running, which we do, every about 20, 30 minutes, uh, you'd come over, you'd take a smell and a taste, and you'd see what's coming off. Uh, this stuff, uh, you know, sometimes we've got some. Uh, different distillates happening. There's a lot of experiments. Yeah, so depending on as the run progresses, you'll get good flavors, you'll get bad flavors. Kevin's probably looking at a pretty foul flavor right Ooh, now. That's hot. As this runs, uh, the flavor will start to clean up a little bit. It'll get a little clearer. It'll get a little sweeter. That's when we know we're into our hearts portion. Uh, so right now we're in the heads. Yeah, I'll say. The hearts, the hearts is what'll end up going into a barrel. But that's the same distillation. This, this distillation just happens a little bit slower. Uh, so then what we collect uh, is about 25 to 30 gallons of usable barrelable <coughs> distillate. Um, so that's a 500 gallon mash, 100 gallons of strip, down to 25 gallons of usable whiskey. We do that right now uh, in about a week.